Hi guys, this is Stephanie and I am Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Today I'm going to be filming the Name Game book tag. Now this is one I saw like two or three years ago when I first started watching booktube. I saw it around and then I saw it again on Happy Elephant Books, and I'm gonna link his channel down below. Uh, his name is James, super cute channel. I think he's pretty new to booktube like I am, but check him out, he's fantastic. But he did this and I thought, I should do that because I have a longer name than James, ha 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 ha. So without further ado, a book that starts with an S. I'm gonna go with Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Now this is one, that I'm going to be reading very, very soon. I haven't read it yet. It is a heist book and it is from six different points of view because we have six people in on the heist. I think it sounds fantastic. It's had a lot of hype. So I'd be lying to say that I'm not a tiny bit nervous that it's not gonna live up to the hype, but I'm still gonna read it. And I wanted to read it in June. It's not looking good, so I will probably read it in July. Give me a T. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I read this last fall. I loved it. Basically, it's a dystopian society where when people do bad things, uh, it kind of turns into monsters. So if you kill somebody, a monster is born. That's kind of the premise of it. And it is a dual perspective and it is not a romance, which I love. <laughs> so I loved it last uh, fall and I'm going to be reading the uh, sequel very, very, very soon. Totally recommend this one. Give me an E. This is Iona by Allison Goodman. I have not read this. This is actually the second one in the Eon series. Basically, it's about a girl who I think wants to like train dragons, but girls don't get to train dragons in this world, so she pretends she's a boy so that she can train dragons. I've heard good things. Well, I've heard mixed things about this duology, but I think that I would like it. Um, I generally like high fantasy. I've heard it's high fantasy. I've heard the characters, the main characters, not always likable, but that's not really a reason I wouldn't read a book. Sometimes if you don't like them and you're not rooting for them, I won't read it, but I've been told she's unlikable because she just has so much gumption that she kind of comes off as a jerk and I might be okay with that. Give me an F. <gasps> I know you were thinking I was Stephanie the PH, but I am not. I am Stephanie with an F. My parents did this to me, okay? You can blame them. For this one, I grabbed The Forgotten, which is by Sharon Cameron. Now, I know it has a V for the, but I'm not counting those. This is a book that has been on my TBR. A friend of mine bought it for me actually at Christmas, and I've been meaning to read it since then. I'm hoping that I will get it read somewhat too because it sounds pretty interesting. Basically, like every five years or something like that, this entire society has their memories like wiped, except for this girl, it doesn't work on her. She has all her memories. And then they start finding, you know, cracks in the hierarchy of the society. Go figure, memory wiping every five years is not a good plan. Hmm. Give me an A for Anne of Green Gables. That's Anne with an E, by the way. Love this book. It's by Ella Montgomery. It's a Canadian classic. I'd love to say it's an American classic, but technically she's Canadian. But I love this book. I read it when I was probably in third or fourth grade. I've read it a few times since. It is older, but... It doesn't really read older. It reads like she's a young girl who has this crazy great imagination, which is kind of what I was growing up. So I definitely connect with Anne, but she always had red hair and I've always had not red hair. Give me an N for Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. Now this one is actually a graphic novel. Uh, I read it a few years ago, like probably two or three years ago. It was about the time that I was starting to watch booktube stuff. Um, my husband actually bought this for a friend, but he made the mistake of leaving it laying around the house. So of course, being a book, I picked it up and I read it and I might have put it in a backpack and toted it around town and maybe ruffled the edges so he might have had to buy her a new one and I gotta keep this one. I loved this book. Basically, it's about this girl who wants to be the sidekick for a villain, not a hero. And like I said, it's a graphic novel. It's got really, really fun. You can kind of see there. It's fun and it's a quick read. I, I really did like it. I actually read it two times in a <laughs> row because I liked it that much. I think it started as like an online comic and then they kind of put it all together, made a book out of it. Quick read, good read. You won't regret this. 
give me an I for Illuminae. And this is by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Again, haven't read it. It's on my TBR. I really, really, really am going to read it really, 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 really soon. I'm hoping I can get it read by the end of June, but that might not happen. We will have to see about that. This, I think, is about um, like the world's coming to an end, something along those lines. And I think aliens might be invading, something along those lines. I don't really know. I don't like to know too much about books before I read them, but I've heard good things. And it's like an interesting format. It's like case files and fun things like that. And honestly, I'm one of those people, yeah, like stuff like that. Like I love reading books that are like, diary entries or letters because it just breaks it up and it makes it more fun to read for me so I read them much faster so I once I get into it I'll probably read this quickly but I've had a busy month we'll see where this leaves us give me an E for Eliza and her monsters by Francesca Zappia now this is one I haven't even hauled it yet I got it in a book box last month no the beginning of this month and it looks really good. I'm not 100% like, I only vaguely know what it's about. But basically, Eliza is an, like an online artist. She does like a graphic novel, but you know, online form. And uh, she's pretty successful at it, but most of her life is online and she's in high school. But then a kid who comes to her high school is like a huge fan of hers. And he has his own little fan fiction version of hers and stuff like that. And he's a huge fan of hers. And he thinks that she's just a huge fan too. He doesn't know she's the creator because she kind of keeps that on the DL. And it's really her first interaction with like people in the real world and not the online world. And I think, I think it sounds really good. It also has some of her drawings in it. And I am a sucker for pictures and a book. So I will read this eventually. It's not going to my immediate TBR, but it is one that I do want to read because it looks fantastic. And that is how you spell my name. S-T-E-F-A-N-I-E. -E. No, I was never a cheerleader. No, I'm not a good speller. I'm really not a good speller, but I can spell my name. So, you know, that's all you need to be qualified to do this tag. So if you can spell your own name, I want you to do this tag because it's fun to just come up with books that start with the same letters your first name. It's fun. It's totally fun. So I want to tag you if you know how to spell your name. Seriously. I also want to tag her nose stuck in a book and I want to tag half a word. So please do this. Tag me back when you do it so that I can see you did it because I would love to see you guys do this tag. It is super, super fun. If you like this video, I encourage you to click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please click the subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.